Well, all right, Virginia voters are heading to the polls to cast their ballots for the next governor, and the candidates are spending their last few days crisscrossing the state, campaigning for last minute votes. Richard Reeve is following all of this from the newsroom, and he is there now with more. Richard. Well, Candace, both Democrat Terry McAuliffe and Republican Ken Cuccinelli were in Northern Virginia today. The latest Washington Post poll shows McAuliffe in the lead by 12 points, but a Quinnipiac University poll is much closer, just a four point difference. Both sides are pushing for every vote. An awful lot's at stake in this race. Republican Ken Cuccinelli, down in the polls, is pushing back. I'm very confident that we got a shot at winning this. In Woodbridge, with Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker by his side, the Attorney General drew an enthusiastic crowd. Walking, meeting my neighbors since March. Including supporters like Dara Fox. Limited government, lower taxes, less intrusive government. Cuccinelli calls this election a referendum on the nation's new health care law. No more big government. No more Obamacare, no more denial of freedom for patients and for doctors. Most polls show Democrat Terry McAuliffe, who's campaigned recently with Bill and Hillary Clinton, in the lead. I pay attention to the positive. McAuliffe calls Cuccinelli a Tea Party extremist. The former DNC party chairman says he would be a uniter in Richmond. I will immediately reach out to every single Republican legislator. The only way we can get things done is in a bipartisan manner. But now former Maryland Governor Bob Ehrlich is among those adding his support to Cuccinelli. You get to send a message to the country, to the world, that we reject Obamacare, we can do better. And perhaps the strangest moment of the night. A heckler shouted down by Cuccinelli supporters. The candidate himself saying he has momentum. Oh, well, we've been outspent pretty badly here, especially late in the race. And uh, but the movement in our direction and a lot of good grassroots activity has been very positive for us. Now, McAuliffe does have a huge cash factor. He's raised thirty four million dollars to Cuccinelli's 20 million. Cuccinelli will be campaigning Monday with Florida Senator Marco Rubio in the newsroom. Richard Reeve, News Channel 8. All right, Richard, thank you. Democratic challenger Terry McAuliffe have three get-out-the-vote rallies today. It came ahead of a planned campaign stop with President Obama on Sunday in Arlington. And